so we have been waiting for the Prisma 3D 3.0 version since it was announced about 9 months ago. There are still some issues with the app that need to be fixed. I hope the updates in the new version will be significant compared to what I've seen in the beta version. I've tested the app on my channel and provided a complete review of its improvements and drawbacks. In today's video, let's take a look at what they are working on and when the app is likely to be released. First off, it seems that improving animation is the primary goal of this update based on features like the available animation presets. However, they seem to be neglecting a crucial tool for creating smooth animations the IK rig. Now, don't get me wrong the IK rig is available, but it's quite challenging to use. If you're new to the app, you might find it difficult to work with at all. While you can accurately place the IK rig on a single human character mesh, things get complicated if you want to rig something like a Minecraft character with multiple meshes. It takes a lot of creativity and even after successful rigging, the bones can behave unpredictably during animation. This is likely why most users stick to the default FK rigging system. Another thing is the lighting and rendering have actually gotten worse in this beta version. The current official version on the Play Store performs better in terms of both lighting and rendering. Prisma 3 developers need to focus on improving the lighting because it's such a crucial aspect of good animation and rendering. As for the release date, it hasn't been announced yet, but in my opinion it's likely to come out in the first or second month of next year since there are still a lot of issues to fix. That wraps up this video. I'll be making a video on some cool features that could make Prisma 3D even better. Make sure to subscribe, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.